Okay, you ready? Mm-hmm. You sure? <laughs> Are you sure you're ready? Yeah. <laughs> you just get embarrassed as soon as I hit record. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to another kit review with the wife Ellen. We have away shirts, just away shirts. Okay. Still a lot of third kits yet to be released. And also we've got Crystal Palace's home kits in this one. They released it literally yep. a few hours after yes. we recorded. So Sounds good. Perfect. So we're going to do the same thing as before, out of 10. And no, Arsenal isn't going to be my favourite. I know I picked Southampton as well. I must say that I have since changed my mind. Oh, have you? I still think the Arsenal home kit is the best. Fair but enough. anyway, Fair we'll enough. move on. Onto the away kits, and this is the first one. Arsenal in chronological order. What do you think? Yeah, it's nice. It's all right. I'm not sure about the colour. Like Why a pastel like yellow. A... Yeah. Uh, I can't remember the exact reason for it. It's definitely like a retro feel. Yeah, you can see it in um, the back. I get Germany vibes. Oh, okay. Like a, a very old German kit for some reason. I, I feel yeah. like they've had an away type kit like this. Maybe. I... I think I think it's the red and the dark kind of blue. I, I don't know what it is. I just get German vibes. Adidas is a German company, right? Uh, yes. They may be done it on purpose. I think they are. I think maybe it's just me. I don't know. I do like it. It's yeah. not as good as the home kit. And the third kit hasn't been released yet, but I've seen leaked images, and that is my favourite kit of the three. So if we come back and do a way, uh, third kit, sorry, I think that that's going to be my favourite. But this one, six. Six out of yeah, ten for me. Six out of ten. I'm not. I'm not a massive fan of the color. Not the best one. Uh, we've got Aston Villa up next. No. Thoughts on this one? No, you didn't like their home kit either. I don't like this. I I do. No. I don't like Kappa. I don't like the yeah the manufacturer. Uh, again, the collar bit. You didn't like that on the home no. kit. You don't like it here either. It's better here, but I don't like the thin stripes. So without I that, you'd it. like it more. Yeah. I think it needs it. I think it needs that. No, you need something, just not that. <laughs> I think this is... I think maybe I should put the Arsenal one to seven and this to six. Because I think the Arsenal one's better than this one. Okay. But this I'm, is a six. I'm giving this a five, so it's, five. Fine. it's fine. Average. It's fine. Do you know who the player is? No. Ollie Watkins. He's a baller. Uh, up next, we've got probably your least favourite from the home kits. And that was Brentford, right? We, di we didn't like the Brentford kit, no. the home one. But the away one... I really like this. Much, much better. This is really nice. I think it's because the home kit had the black logo, the black sponsor, yeah. and then it was the red and white. And it yeah. just, it, did, it didn't look right here. It's all black accents with the yellow base. And obviously the, the textures of the chevrons, chevrons yeah. really big chevrons. I really like this kit. Me too. It's really, really nice. It's a good one. It's a really nice colour. I love the little black detailing in the collar. And on the sleeve, just yeah. a simple black stripe. It's just nice. I, it's a really good kit. I still don't like the sponsor that much. It's Any right other sponsor, if you if you slapped on like a Samsung, this would be like an eight out of ten. Mm. But um, you can't do much about that. I'm though, gonna put it you? level with Arsenal's. I think seven. No, this is a nine for me. I really like what? this. What? Okay, what I if really it was blue like accents? It. It'd be a ten. Yes. <laughs> blue and yellow for the Swedish flag. Okay, so that's your favourite so yes. far. I think it's it's probably my favourite too, actually, so far. Next, we've got Brighton. Okay. It's I like, like a, this. It's like a fingerprint. Yes, that is... Is that what they've done? Yeah. Why? I, I don't know if that's what it is, but you're right. I, I've seen this a few times from last season kits. So this is, um, I guess, a template from last year, yeah. somewhat. But it was way more popular, I thought, on goalkeeper shirts. Mm -hmm. This, to me, looks like a goalkeeper kit. Yeah, it could be. I don't know. Maybe because I've seen goalkeeper kits with that thumbprint design. That's, that is literally what it's it is, literally isn't it? A fingerprint. It looks like a fingerprint. Uh, I still like it. It's a really nice kit. Yeah. I think Brighton have smashed it this season. Their home kit was lovely. Not sure about that big black and yellow or black and gold yeah. patch, but maybe that'll look better on the pitch. And obviously you're not going to see it all the time. Also, at least it's matched on the other side. You've got a circle on each shoulder. Yes, the Premier League or each arm. badge. It's a good kit. Yeah. I think six out of ten for no, me. No, this is an eight for me. I really like it. Blimey. It's you, a nice colour. You like the away kits more yeah. than the home kits. I think that's that's actually common these days because they can be a lot more leery and a bit more out there. Yeah. Uh, we've got Burnley, which haven't released their away kit just yet. Uh, hopefully soon, because then we can include it in the third kits. I think we've got the same with Wolves, unfortunately. They haven't released theirs yet. Here's Chelsea's. Do you recognise the player this time? Mason Mount. Yeah. Do you want to marry him? No. Because you said you liked him a lot. 
He's last nice. time. <laughs> I'm not jealous, okay, no, guys. He's, not jealous he's a multi-millionaire. He's good looking. He's playing for arguably the biggest club in the world exactly. at the moment, European champions. God damn it! He's got everything. Um, much better than the home kit. Do you remember yeah. it was the zigzag mm -hmm. checkered flag design? It was a bit over all over the place. I like. Actually, this. if we go back to Brentford, it's basically. It's very similar. The same, just pinstripes yeah. and a massive three, which I still don't like. But yeah, this this kit looks so much better, I think. It's a yeah. pale yellow, like the Arsenal one. I think the picture... I've got the, the mini kit designs from the Premier League website. I think they've added like some contrast on a lot of these. They're definitely brighter than the kits or more saturated. Um, I still like it. It's, yeah. it's, a, it's a nicer kit than the yeah. home kit. Haven't seen their away kit yet. There's only a few I've seen. I think this might be their strongest one, potentially. It's not as nice as the Brentford one, but it is still really nice. I think it's another six for me. I prefer the um, vertical, the stripes going that way compared to the other one. But you don't like thin stripes in general, or is it just because they're going down? I think it's because they were going down and they didn't, they kind of Going across, stopped. it looks better. They stopped at the shoulder. They didn't, like... Did they? Yeah, it was strange. That, that was the Aston Villa one, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah they kind of, like, stop Below the collar. These just carry on. Yeah. Although this Hyundai patch just mm. goes over the top which not a big fan of but that not on the little mini one ah maybe they maybe this wasn't a final oh why would they do that though that's weird i didn't notice that on the picture here it sits inside the stripes perfectly doesn't it? in fact th this picture is different yeah they've, they've literally moved it up as further yeah. up the shoulder interesting but it's still a good kit this is yeah. a, again a six for me seven I, I, on, I'd say so far, on average, we are enjoying the away kits more than the home kits. I actually thought yeah. it was a very poor show from the kits this season, the home kits. I think a lot of them were actually pretty poor. Uh, finally, we got Crystal Palace's home kit, which is in the bottom right. Okay. Uh, that's what we didn't see last time. What would you have given that? Seven. It's I a nice it's kit. Nice, It'd yeah. be one of the stronger ones for me. And then obviously this is the away kit. I could not find any pictures of them wearing the away kit. This is the best picture I could find. Mm. Uh, there, there was another guy on his on his right. He was just smiling. At it. it looks awkward <laughs> that I've got rid of that. Um, it's a nice kit. Yeah, it's it's all right. It's, it's not as good as the home. It's a five. Really? Yeah. Oh, I like it more than that. No. I'd go six. I've just noticed as well. They've got two Premier League patches instead of just one. Oh wait, is there um? There's a design on the yellow, isn't there? Like a slightly darker oh, orange. Oh, yeah. You can see it's almost okay, like... I'll give it a six now. That's upgrade. You like texture, you don't you? Yeah. Yeah, I'd say a six as well. Jesus, this is, is all sixes for me. Uh, Everton up next. Big fan of this one. I liked their home kit a lot. That was the... Again, I said like the pool reflections, yeah. you know, but this time very simple, just very dark, like a matte yeah. black. I don't know if it's the picture... Again, um, the, looks um, nice. the picture is different to the the preview. You've not got the logo on his arm. Oh yeah, and it's like a. It looks like a leather. I really like it, and you know, I mentioned because this is Hummel, and I mentioned they always have chevrons. Yes, you can barely see them on this kit. Yeah, they're like a slightly oh, yeah. lighter grey. Now we've got a loopy dog. Alfie, do you want to come in the video again? He's Jealous. a famous doggy now. I like the chevrons on these Hummel kits, and yeah. I like it without, even though they are there, you can barely see them. Yeah. And I like the fact that the Hummel badge is black as well. This kit just looks yeah. stealth. Yeah. And then it's just got this leery red, what do you even call that? A sash. That's it. It kind of so, looks like a... Um, a beauty pageant beauty, thing. Yeah, a beauty so pageant sash. I didn't like that last season on the yeah. Southampton kits. But it, it works. But I think here. it was the logo, their, their sponsor they had with that looked awful. This, the kazoo actually works yeah. for the first time. This is probably a seven for me. Mm -hmm. Seven sounds good. We can't keep agreeing, I, I'm not a massive fan of the collar. It'd be higher if it was the collar, but it looks like he's wearing a polo shirt. It's up there, though. Top three but it's good. for me. Uh, next, we've got Leeds. Really nice. I like this one a lot. That. Didn't someone already have this texture? Yeah, Leicester. It's very so similar. when you get manufacturers like Adidas and Nike, yeah. they have like, it feels like 30 to 40 templates. And they go to a club and like, look, these are the templates. Pick one, pick your colours and we'll just do the kit for yeah. you. That's what it feels like. Mm. This one is stronger than their home kit. Their home kit was the po looked like a polo yeah. top with the yellow stripes. Um, but this is very similar to the Leicester home kit. But I like it. I, yeah. I really like this kit. There's nothing I dislike about it. I think it's it might really be my nice. favourite so far. Let me just have a look at the Brentford one again. Oh, is it better than Brentford's kit? No. No, it, it's, it's an eight. 
It's a solid eight. Oh, I don't know. I think it's my favourite. Yeah, I, I, eight is the highest I've given so far. There so you go, then. eight out of ten for Leeds. Then we have Leicester's away kit, uh, the picnic oh. blanket. Uh, again, not many pictures out there. Uh, do you know the player? No. Ian Acho, Portsmouth legend. Um, it's definitely more of a turquoisey green in the bottom right image, but the kit itself, at least in this picture, looks a bit, bit less turquoisey, mm. less green. Um, it's all right. I, it's yeah. a bit of a picnic blanket to me. I, I think it's cool. It's different. Um, Nothing special, though. No. I think six. Yeah. Six. <laughs> it's still good. Nothing has been below five yet. There no. hasn't been a, a necessarily bad kit. I think everything's looked okay. Yes. Uh, this is not one of the strongest ones, though. Um, I'm just going to say this is my favourite straight away. It, it doesn't even matter. Really? What you think. I don't... Uh, for me. Okay. I You couldn't tell me otherwise. This is my favourite away kit this season. It's good. It's good. But again, it's got like a weird off beige white color it works it, it just works i it's i don't good. know how to describe it it is just the best looking kit i really like the orange and the kind of dark teal yeah i love the green um, greenish teal yeah i'll probably give it an eight like yeah it's, it's really nice it's a nine for but me i wouldn't i wouldn't go not, higher than that not much would make this better the, for me i think a different color of off white really it's it like looks it's a bit dirty <laughs> It's like a beige, white, yellow, pastel. I don't, what what colour is that? It's just beige. I love it. I absolutely love this kit. I'm so jealous. This is better than the Arsenal home kit. Mm. Uh, I mean, there is one more kit coming up soon, which comes close. We'll go to Man City next. Beautiful kit. Yeah, that's nice. Very simple, but I just love that they haven't just gone blue on the yeah. text. It's like this. It's almost like it's moving. It's shifting mm -hmm. colour. I absolutely love that. Yeah. And this is up there with Liverpool's, but not quite as good. This is an eight for me. This is better than Arsenal's home kit as well, I would say. Probably my second favourite kit overall. Yeah. And again, another away kit. They're just, they're just so much better. It's like with third kits, you'll see. They go crazy yeah. with textures and because they don't really have to conform to the colours of their badge necessarily. They can just go crazy and it has to be something completely different from the home and away kit. Yeah. This... I love this. It's I really beautiful. love this. And I, I love the the thin stripes up on the shoulder. I don't know why, but it kind of just breaks up the whole I thing a little bit. I think it's because you just it's haven't nice. seen it before. I, 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 like you said, I love the I love the um, fade of the colours that match on the sponsor. The yeah, what's the word for the that? Shoulder. What's the word when when gradient? It, yeah, obviously I know it's it's like a gradient, but it's like um, I don't know why the word in my head right now is euphoric. Like, okay. like you're in a, a club and there's loads. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. It's just so good. It's really nice. This is a nine for me. It's an eight for me. This is not, not at 8.5. Oh, do you know what? I was going to say the only thing that could make it better would be texture, but then I think it might be too much. It doesn't need it. No, this doesn't this need it. This is one of the only kits that you're going to say doesn't need texture. I know. <laughs> I, I like it. I want to give it more than a nine, but I, I think, don't know if I should. I think this is the best city kit they've ever had. It was good. Um, up next, one of the worst. Yes. Look, I got so much, I'm not going to swear, C-R-A-P. I didn't even beep out the swear word, so I can just say it. I got a lot of crap in the last <laughs> video because I really didn't like the the, uh, the Man United home kit. I still don't. You can't change my mind, guys. I don't like the sponsor. I don't like the home kit at all. And this is only marginally better. It's just it's not, not good. a good kit. The red doesn't work. No. If you made that white... Maybe it would have been too faint. You I don't know. Maybe if you make it black. I, I don't know. If you look at the white stripes around the, the sleeves, mm -hmm. doesn't look out of place. No. The white collar doesn't look out of place. Why no. not go for a white badge? I, you I don't know. Have seen it. Maybe, maybe not. But, but I just I don't like then. the red. It's no. not even a strong red. It's like a... Faded. Yeah, it's just not... I'm sorry, United fans. You know, I have a it's lot of respect good. for the club. They are the biggest club in the world, some people would say. that The money they make is... One is right up there as the biggest club in the world, and they've just signed Sancho. Do you recognise him? No. Um, they have had some really strong kits, but this season is no. I don't like this either. Both um, kits are really, really poor for a me. Three. Yeah, I, I agree. Three because not... I think I think I gave the home kit a two. This is so busy. It just looks messy. Yeah, it's, it's just not a good kit. I'm sorry, United fans. Yes, you could be mean about it, but. Um, you're not going to change my mind. 
New car swap next. They had the the massive number four yeah. on their home kit. Now this is a lot better for me. Yeah. You noticed how the stripes yeah. move. It's kind of like an animal's just like walked and ruined some cement. You know, like when you get yeah. the the prints. <laughs> um, oh, it would have been so much better if it was just the stripes and not do you the kind of. It feels like I've taken the smudge tool in Photoshop and just gone like. Yes. Yeah. You just move the lines up and down. Parts, just like moved it. Do you know what though? I still like it. The collar's like, not not great for me. I like everything else, but the the texture. Well, I the like background the stripes, lines. but yeah, not the wobbly bits. I think they've just tried to do something different. Yeah. Um, I st I like it actually, though. It's it's not a bad kit at all, and I don't think you would see those lines that much on the pitch, and no. it just just gives it something different, doesn't it? Put it this way: if I was a Newcastle fan, I'd be buying this one over the others. But realistically, I wouldn't buy any of them. Um, I like the gold. It's yes. it's a much better kit than their yeah. home kit, but again, like this is a five for me, maybe. Oh, that, I think it's a seven. I think it's really good. So it's I just like literally it. the the lines yeah. moved. Fair enough. Yeah. I mean, I, I was expecting a six, five, oh, really? maybe seven's quite. Yeah, I like you, it. You want to change it? Because it no? looks really classy with the gold and the kind of V shaped and the thick. White. Even the collar. I don't yeah, know. I love the collar. It's Fair nice. enough. Fair enough. It's just not for me then, I guess. Uh, Norwich up next. Even better than the home kit, I would say. This is so nice. Wait, didn't someone so have nice. one that looked exactly like this? Or was in that in the... this video? No, the previous one. Uh... I thought someone had one with like turquoise stripes on the shoulder. It was Burnley with the news... Oh, God, Alfie. Alfie! We're trying to record a video here. Fish. There was the Burnley kit with the stripe new newspaper -y thing I refer to it as. I don't remember, but I like this either it's, way. The collar is neat. Yeah. The JD logo actually works for me on the sleeve. Lotus, one of my favourite car brands. You know, it's it's a really good kit. Yeah. <sighs> and it's a really nice blue. Wait, it's not wait, too much wait, of wait. it. Is it is it better than that though? For me it's not. I think it's the same for me. And it's, it's not better than that for me. Well, I I I know you like that one, I still like Liverpool and City more, but this is... A nine. This is a nine for me. Seven and a half, maybe eight for I can me. imagine all of them running around with that on the pitch. It looks so nice, so neat, I wonder if so the, like, cool. Are the shorts going to be the blue, or are they going to be the dark? Ooh. That would change it for me. If it's all black mm. with blue accents everywhere, that would look really good. I think I'll have to find out, good. because that would put the rating up for me. I reckon it'll look, like you said, like just a really good uniform. Yeah. Uh, up next, we've got Southampton. Couldn't find a player picture. I, I don't know if this is one of their academy players, potentially. Um, but it's not a great picture of it. it. It just looks like it hasn't been ironed, the the texture at the bottom. Yeah, I was going to say, it's a very different texture. <laughs> it's like it's texture. on fire. It's cool, <sighs> but yeah, it does look like it's just not been ironed. I really kind of. like their home kit, but this one doesn't do anything for me. This looks like one of the kits you wear when you're a kid. Yeah, a little uh, bit. For like your local team. The collar is freaking huge on this. It doesn't get any better the longer you look at it, really. It's actually getting worse. Yeah, yeah the texture's bad. The logo's too big. Oh, it looks cheap. Sorry, Hummel. Three. This is the worst one so far. Three, yeah. I think so. Wait, 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 we wait. We gave someone else a three. It's, it's worse than this. I think this is nicer than the Southampton kit. Yeah. Just. Okay, a two. I'm going to put the United one to four and this one to three. Jeez, Ellen, I'm sorry. you're not going to be liked by Southampton fans. They should love me though, because I loved the first kit. <laughs> um, oh no! What? Oh no! I love this. I freaking hate oh, Tottenham, no. but this is an insane kit. This is awful. Really? Yeah. You are one of the rarest feedback people. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard anyone say they don't like this. I don't like it. Really? No. Why? It's like a galaxy. Exactly, but like a really bad but... quality one. Oh, I'm I'm kind of disappointed. I thought you'd love this. No. Honestly, I think Tottenham have absolutely smashed it. I mean... I see what you mean, though. It no. looks like a, a painting that's a bit blurred and a bit... Mm, oh, why are, you, why are you convincing me it's not that good? It's because I don't want to like it because it's a Tottenham <laughs> kit, but I do, I do, I like it. This is the kind of kit that will be so popular in Ultimate Team. When people playing FIFA, they'll they'll whack this kit on. At least they've kept the sleeves and the collar really plain and simple. Same with the yeah. sponsor. They've really just focused on the design, which is good. I think it it couldn't take any more. This is an eight for me. 
I really like it. I really like I'm it. I'm going to give it a four. Wow, guys, we have the biggest disagreement yet. Mm. I like it and she hates it. I'm surprised. I really thought you'd like it because you 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 are a big fan of textures and being yes. a bit out there with colors. What what they've got everything. What haven't they got here that you don't like? I don't like the colors. What if it was a different color sponsor badge and, no, and it's, Nike? No, it's no, it's not the I like the, the yellow. Yeah, that's fine. It's the the blue and then the kind of brown and red and it's just it just looks dirty and messy. Get your comments down below. Who do you agree with? Team Matt or Team Ellen? <laughs> I really like this kit. Uh, Watford up next. They didn't have a very good home kit, but this is miles better. Yeah, it's miles good. better. I think the the home kit should have been this, but instead of red, obviously the yellow, with just a slightly darker yellow or a grey yeah. or whatever texture behind it, because that would have been so much better. Uh, the steak dot com maybe could have been black here, or even yellow. Or yellow. I think black would look best personally, because yeah, because the collar is more black than yeah. yellow. But it's this is a good kit. I like it. I think this is their strongest kit. I I'm think um, give it a six. Yeah, I was gonna say six. It's it's, it's better good. than some of the others we've seen. It's a good kit. I like it. Uh, West Ham up next. This has just mm. been released apparently as well. There was barely any pictures. I'm getting Argentina vibes because <laughs> of the the blue and white stripes. Yeah. Um, really liked their home kit, didn't I? I, don't, I can't remember if you liked it as much as me, but this is up there as well with the home kit. I just I like it. It's a nice kit. Yeah, it's well nice. done, West Ham, man. They've they've smashed it. I'm guessing you don't know the player. No. You, you're not. You're never no. going to get him. It's it's a really nice kit. I, I like the sponsor. Betway looks good there. Mm -hmm. I don't like the sponsor. I don't. I don't really like any betting companies being in football. But um, yeah, I think one of the biggest reasons I like West Ham kits in general is just the badge. I'm a big fan yeah. of the badge. It's a nice big shield, and it's you know it's it's a bulky looking. I don't know what the word it's is. It's good. And I, I like the the two tone. It's kind of got the stripes being separate. Yeah, it looks good. It's a good, it's a good Argentina kit as well. If they wanted to use that, just change the uh, is it claret, change that to to white, I guess. Six, um, seven for me, mm. I think. Uh, we have unfortunately not got a wolves kit yet. Sorry, Granddad, no wolves kit yet. But what we will, what we will do is end it on our favourite kits each. So oh, for me, oh, I can't remember. It's the Liverpool one. You liked Man City. Um, you really liked the Tottenham Norwich. one. Yeah, Norwich was another one that you liked. Are you going with that one? Oh, but I like Man City too. Man City's is a really strong I'm going with that one. Okay, so you're going City, and yeah. this is like 0.5 behind for me. City would have been my favourite if this one didn't exist. I'm giving Man City a 9.5. Wow! Almost a 10. What would have given it a 10? I don't know, which is why I don't want to do it. <laughs> I think maybe if the collar had the same as the sleeves, just that... Yeah, slight the blue. edge of blue. Mm, yeah, then maybe you would have given it a ten. Yeah, I'm going Liverpool. She's going Man City. Team Matt or Team Ellen? Let's see it in the comments. We will do third kits. I don't know when though because there are still so many teams yet to release them. So it might be a week or two. Who knows? Hopefully not because the season literally starts in a week and a half. Yeah, it's quite late. No, isn't nine it? days. Next Friday, Arsenal take on Brentford. First game of the season. We're kicking off first, so we can disappoint. You know. Um, hopefully not. But yeah, honestly, massive, massive ratings to Liverpool, City and mm. Spurs and Norwich. Top four for me. Job. Who would be my fifth? I'm just trying to think now. Maybe Brighton's or Brentford's. Brentford was really Ooh, good. That's a top five kit as well. And just because I know everyone's going to ask me, I didn't talk much about the Arsenal kit. I do like this. Um, I just think the home kit's stronger this year. I just, I like the home kit a lot. But uh, thank you so much for watching, guys. A lot of people say they love this type of content. So, um, I know this will bore you, bore you, but obviously right now I'm not doing career mode stuff. I haven't done that for a few days. I'm just taking a break. The thought of playing FIFA 21 right now, you can probably describe how I feel. He's not very excited about <laughs> it, I can put it that way. Having played FIFA 22 now and knowing that we're five weeks away from release, four weeks away from release almost, um, is it five? No, it's six. It's just, it's difficult. So I will be doing something, just not right away. And we're going to do some different stuff but thank you for joining me again thank you for having me of course anytime if you want to take part in a career mode video just knock on the door okay. matt i heard you scream you scored that. no i know <laughs> we'll we'll be back with the third kits at some point um bye from alfie tilly ellen and i see you next bye. time bye <laughs>